Not every piece of code can and should be generated. Maybe no appropriate modeling language exists or algorithms are already implemented. Maybe some external libraries shall be used. There are a couple of reasons why quite often some specific functionality is implemented by hand. We call this hand coding and the result handwritten code. When dealing with both handwritten and generated code in a development process, we need efficient techniques for a smooth integration of both kinds of code. This is also necessary if several generators produce different pieces of code. Reusability of code generators is an essential property. This includes changing the input model and regenerating new code easily. Since models will be adapted, enhanced, extended and refactored plenty of times, the generated code must not be modified by hand. Thus, generated code and handwritten code should be kept in separate artifacts. One possibility to aim for extensibility of the resulting code is to integrate design pattern like the template hook pattern into the generated code. This pattern is a standard technique for hand-coded extensibility. Monticore also uses a second technique. It generates code while being aware of existing handwritten classes. These classes are directly integrated into the generated code. For that purpose, the Monticore generator examines the handcoded path with the argument "-hcp", the standard folder for handwritten code that you can also see in the automaton example is called hwc. Because all generated classes will be kept in the out directory, the handwritten and generated classes can be easily kept separate. There's the possibility of adaption through subclasses. You can always define subclasses of a generated class or implement generated interfaces. For that purpose, many classes, including all AST classes, have corresponding builder classes. Builders and their providers, the so-called builder mills, are generated in form of the static delegator pattern. They can be adapted through building a subclass, instantiating the subclass and injecting the single instance. A disadvantage of this approach is that it is not possible to add new methods to the signature of the AST state class directly, but to the subclass only. But still, this approach is robust since it allows regeneration. However, when the superclass is not regenerated in the same form, the subclass becomes erroneous and doesn't compile anymore. A second and less labor-intensive approach for adaption is to directly write the desired class by hand. This is shown in this class diagram. The class AST state exists in the hand-coded path and replaces the generated class AST state. This class has the same name and package as the generated class but is located in the source path instead. In this case, a class AST state top is generated. This one contains the identical generated code, but is abstract and obviously has a different name. If Monticore detects a handwritten class, it still creates all other classes in the usual form, except if these classes are replaced by handwritten classes as well. This is called top mechanism. So to add handwritten code, Let's say for a class AST state, always do the following. Create an empty class AST state in a directory like hwc. Put the new class under version control and add the new directory hwc to the hand coded path with the command minus hcp. Execute the Monticore generator, let AST state, extend AST state top, and adapt AST state at will. Also, do not forget to initialize additional attributes. And finally, rerun the generator. 